뇌졸중 환자가 다른 사람 도움 없이 정상적으로 걷기 위해서는 다리의 힘과 근력 능력, 관절의 움직임이 필요합니다. 동영상을 보시면서 어떻게 훈련을 하는지를 보시겠습니다. People who do not have ability to control knee joint walk with knee joint hyperextended. In most cases, this results from wrong gait training, and this can be corrected through appropriate training. First, I will tell you how to facilitate muscle contraction and increase muscle strength. Among many methods known to be used to facilitate muscle contraction, weight bearing is one of the good methods. Weight-bearing exercise includes modified squat exercise, step-up exercise, exercise using sliding rehabilitation machine, heel lifting exercise, and sit-to-stand exercise. I'll explain each of these exercises with short video respectively. This is modified squat exercise. Knee flexion and extension helps patients to train their paralyzed lower limb while loading equal weight on their foot. This is also modified squat exercise. But in this case, people train with more weight on hemiplegic limb. Training with this method it is difficult to know how much weight was shifted to hemiplegic limb or how much their lower limb is flexed. However, this is one of the good training methods to train weight-bearing exercise without any special equipment. Vertical Balance Trainer was developed to improve muscle strength and balance ability using weight shift to right, left, and vertical movement of body weight. In this scene, Vertical Balance Trainer is used to flex and extend lower limb while bearing the weight on hemiplegic lower limb. Two scales at the bottom sense how much body weight is shifted to hemiplegic lower limb, and tilting sensor placed on ankle checks the angle of knee flexion. Only when required weight shift and flexion angles are satisfied, the number of exercises is approved by the sensor. Stepping up using hemiplegic lower limb is also a good way of weight-bearing exercise. It can turn into an ineffective way when the patient tries to move their body using their arm without shifting their body weight first. This scene shows step-up exercise using arm to pull their body. Let's take a look again. People pulling their body using arm like this is not helpful. Now, you will see the correct example. First. Lift up the hemiplegic foot on the scaffold and then shift the body weight toward the scaffold to step up. Hand is not used to lift up the body weight, but to hold the safety bar in case of fall. When the patient balance well enough, they can step up without holding the safety bar. This time, Lift up the body using only hemiplegic lower limb after fully shifting body weight toward the scaffold. Sliding rehabilitation machine is equipped with slope having rails and wheels. Patients can adjust the angle of slope according to their level of paralysis by using electric motor. 
In this way, people with severe weakness can exercise at lower slope angle, whereas improved patients at higher. Sometimes, patients with severe paralysis have difficulties in exercising with only their hemiplegic lower limb. In this case, put both feet on a two-foot plate respectively, then use the unhemiplegic foot pushing up the body followed by pushing down. This movement allows patients to practice concentric and eccentric contraction of movement. Repeat knee flexion and extension slowly. Goniometer, which is placed on sides, shows slope angle of machine, which informs how much load is used during the exercise. Using this value, people can exercise with the appropriate amount of load next time. Stroke patients tend to exercise using normal lower limb unintentionally. When putting normal lower limb on the left lift, which is connected to moving plate for the body, normal lower limb cannot lift up the body. This enables patients to exercise only with weak lower limb. If body comes down too fast to make the big sound, Training is not done correctly. By making the body come down slowly, training is carried out effectively. At first, exercise with small amount of load by lowering the inclination. Then, exercise with larger inclination according to improved muscle strength. Strength of triceps serrate muscle is important determinants in walking velocity. So, heel lift exercise is very popular. Lift heel with maximal weight bearing with weak lower limb if possible. For the safety of stroke patients, it is recommended to hold a fixed object. Heel lift is a good way of training to improve tricep strain muscle strength without special equipment. But people with severe weakness can't lift their own body weight. In case of a unilateral weakness, people lift their body weight mainly using normal tricep strain, which makes the training ineffective. For tricep strain muscle to strength enough, it is encouraged to step on the edge of the step. However, for the stroke patients, this posture is highly unstable, so it is not recommended. In sliding rehabilitation machine with little inclination, people with weak tricep strain muscle can increase muscle strength by doing heel lift with weakened lower limb only. Tricep strain muscle can become more flexible by repetition of this movement, which improves walking pattern.